In this tutorial, we're going to be changing the timing bell on the 1.5 Ford TDCI engine. This engine is fitted to many Fords, Peugeots, Citroëns, etc. But we are replacing this on the Ford Transit Connect. You can make this job much easier and accessible by removing the headlight. Just look at the space now. Just two Torx 30s and a multi-plug. Next up, we're going to remove the header tank, but firstly, I would recommend draining the radiator. You can see there's plenty of space to do this job. Next, we need to release the tension on the auxiliary belt, like so, and then remove the two 10 milli bolts holding the tensioner in place. The engine mount will need removing, but first we need to raise the vehicle and remove the road wheel to remove the lower cover. Again, this is held by two Torx 30 screws seen here. We now have access to the crank pulley. At the back of the engine, there is a bracket held by an 8mm bolt. Remove this bolt and unclip the wiring. Also, remove the crank sensor bolt to remove the sensor. Now we can support the engine and remove the engine mount. We can now remove the upper timing cover. They're seven milli bolts. Unbolt the remaining engine mount. This won't come away from the engine until the lower timing cover is removed. Unclip the little wiring harness underneath the mount. Now turn the crank until the hole lines up with the black plate hole to lock the camshaft off, like so. Lower the engine slightly to access the 18 millibolt to remove the crank pulley. Now loosen the remaining seven millibolts holding the lower timing belt casing on. This should now, with some gentle persuasion, lift away and lower outwards to the bottom. And now the remaining engine mount will come away too. This one has certainly seen better days. I don't think this was very far away from failing. Now we need to lock off the crankshaft pulley and the injection pump pulley. If you don't have the correct locking tools, you can always use suitably sized drill bits. Now loosen the tensioner and then remove the belt. The tensioner and idler can now be removed and then it's time to change the water pump. Really simple and straightforward to change. Make sure you clean the mating face. It's recommended to not use any sealant on the gasket. If you look closely at the gasket, there are two that are triangular shaped holes. Start the screws and this will retain the gasket in place whilst you refit the water pump. Refit the new guide and the new tensioner and replace the timing belt. Remove the pin from the tensioner then rotate tensioner anti-clockwise to tension and tighten with the 13mm spanner. 
you can see the correct tension here. Now remove the cam locking tools and rotate the crankshaft two full revolutions and refit the timing tools. These should all align like they did before. All that remains to do now is rebuild in reverse order. Make sure you refit the timing cover and the engine mount at the same time as these interlock. And that's it. How did you get on with the job? Is this the first time you've done a timing belt or about to do a timing belt? Why not leave us a comment below? This has been how to fix it. Here's some more useful TDCI tutorials. If you like what you see, why not hit subscribe? That's it for now. We'll see you on the next one.